right, so we just did a podcast, and I'm writing an article about different forms of alternative energy in a post-collapse or a grid-down situation. And you see you've got a lot of different things. I've got a really large generator here that is a gasoline generator. It probably takes up quite, well, it does take up quite a bit of fuel, and it is really loud. I'll start this in a second and show you. Uh, we've got the propane grill right here, which these are pretty accessible, uh, and you even got the, out in the back, we've got the charcoal pro pro propane grill, but you've got to think about the smells. This would be a little bit better because in a ventilated area, it's possible we could get it inside, and this, for long-term food storage, we could boil some water, and it wouldn't create much of a smell. Uh, this right here is the portable generator that I made. It's got a 100 amp hour battery with this small solar panel. I need more solar panels but it's got a an 800 watt inverter and it can I'm gonna take these clips off later but you can plug this in and use it for minor stuff right now I need more solar power this uh, isn't gonna last too long then you've got the small little USB charger for maybe cell phones uh, radio stuff like that and then the always trusty little headlamp here which also has rechargeable batteries and then these little little lanterns which are crank lanterns you can see this one hasn't been cranked in a while it doesn't turn on but if you crank it you can see that light starts to turn on so not a bad option the thing i like about these is they do have the option for battery but when all that stuff runs out you can still crank that and use that um, as far as the generator that would be something that you would want to do use in a situation that's, that's really short term because it is so loud and you don't want something like this on if everybody's kind of looking for food and stuff. So let me just show you real quick how loud this is. So, needless to say, this is this is great. It's an 8,000 watt generator, but this is going to be a beacon for people coming to see what you have. So, there's a lot more options than this, uh, but this is just a, a few ideas, a few things that I have laying around the house.